I mean, obviously, playing someone like this, there's a real responsibility, but because his family were there, was that extra pressure or helpful? <sighs> Looking back, I'm like, it was fear. I just didn't know how scared I was. But, you know, when you're scared, you go... When I'm scared, I, I just go, well, I just worked, you know, so I was just kind of working. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it was a weird... It was Because they, they supported the decision but I guess the lead up to that first day of shooting, I, I mean, half the family are behind the monitor. Wow. And Ziggy's behind the DOP. Oh. And Neville Garrick, Bob's close friend, yeah, yeah. who was there at the time, is rolling the spliff and having his breakfast behind the DOP. Yeah. And so it was pretty, like, you know. Yeah. So. But I think after lunch, it kind of dropped yeah. in. And they, but, they... but also, but filming in Jamaica, there must have been people in the, the extras and stuff who had been at the concerts and... Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, they were everywhere. I mean, people like... Neville, Neville Garrick, who was our historical advisor, was in the room with Bob in Battersea when he was composing the album, writing down the lyrics to the songs. And Neville was there every day on set. So if there was ever any questions, it's that's who you asked, you know? And yeah. like, every Sunday, Neville and I would just would jump on the phone and would just walk and talk for a couple of hours. And it was all about trying to... Because Bob's such an icon, you know, he's a hero to so many people. The conversations were really about trying to find out who he was as a, as a man, as a father, and, like, what his struggles were, you know? That was the... What I discovered, or what I guess became really interesting, was that Bob really struggled through that time. You know, he was going for a lot, and... Um, and yeah, yeah, but it's a, the, the movie's about the creation of the album.